At the time of the Battle of Hatfield Chase, King Edwin was the most significant king in England. The battle occurred because a vengeful Cadwallon and his ally Pender invaded Northumbria. The armies met at a marshy location south of the River Don. The Northumbrians were ambushed, driven into the river, and Edwin killed. The Hail Caesar Shieldwall supplement uses this map for an interpretation of how the battlefield may have looked. This is my interpretation for the table tonight. The River Don, which is impassable, runs the top of the table, and the Northumbrians will be moving just below that from left to right. The marshy ground to the right hand side will be medium obstacles and clumps of trees will provide line of sight interference where appropriate. The Mercian and Welsh allied armies will be entering from the bottom left and centre and the whole area encompassed by the battlefield is flat. Here are the Northumbrians led by King Edwin front and centre with his champion Beobrand and his nobles Abba and Bubba. Behind them are two groups of eight Hearthguard, four groups of warriors and one group of missiles. The Northumbrians are going to be outnumbered in this scenario so they're going to find this a real struggle. But that's one of the reasons I've given them two groups of eight Hearthguard so they can sustain casualties and shock a bit more than normal. The Welsh are an interesting army and they are led by Cadwallon Ap Cadfan. He has his champion Big Taff, a noble on foot who is Dai Yakidar, and a mounted noble Roddy Ap Trotter. They have five groups of warriors, one group of slingers for the missiles, and two groups of shock cavalry, one of which are classed as elite and the other warriors. The cavalry can be grouped together because they are both shock cavalry, so that's quite a hefty little number to use on the battlefield, and I haven't done that before, so I'm looking forward to it. Pender and his gang are pretty much a standard Saxon warband. Pender front and centre with his champion Cuthbert. Two nobles, Kinneberga and Kinnebanger. Two groups of Hearthguard, four groups of warriors and one group of missiles, which are the archers. In this scenario, Pender is the junior of the two allies and Cadwallon takes the lead. From the campaign perspective, uh, just a reminder, defeating an enemy is three points, plus one if different religion. Killing enemy king is three points, plus one if different religion. Killing an enemy noble or champion, plus one point. And not in this scenario in particular, Northumbrian king not killed is plus one point for the Northumbrians. Uh, a couple of game guidelines. There are multiple lords and champions, but only one primus inter pares per side. And for the Allies, that is Cadwallon in this scenario. There's no preliminaries, such as battle with the champions or Bibamus or consulting the gods, because it is an ambush situation. The, uh, the Northumbrians have been caught on the hop, and they're outnumbered, and they're in trouble. Okay, here's the banks of the River Don, with the marshy ground to the left as we look. Small cops there, and there's the Northumbrians in March Column, down the side of the Don and over to their right will be the Welsh and the Mercians. Okay, here's Pender with his Mercians on the right flank of the Allied army looking across the plain. Marsh on his right and the Northumbrians to his front. Cadwallon on the left looking across to the Northumbrians. They've caught them napping. Let's see what happens. Right, the cards for the game, the Northumbrians have got Aggressive Charge, Goad, Copy Diem, Rally and Armour Bright. And the Allies, because Cadwallon is the lead, they have uh, Hero of the Age, Shield War Brace, Step Forth, Artorius and Strong Arm. Both sides have rolled well for their Force Morale and they're, and they're on 9, but there were no additions to that uh, Force Morale or indeed deductions due to the preliminaries, as there are none this time around. OK, let's get on with it. Right, so exciting start. We have the Mercian missiles off and running. There you go, nine. 
I'm going to get them to push around into the uh, swampy area because they can uh, go there relatively easily. All right, Edwin is up. Uh, he needs to obviously get his uh, groups organised as quickly as he can. Um, I think, well, I think he's basically at the moment he's just going to turn them there, turn them there, get them to join up. I'm not going to bother rolling for that. It's missile tastic with the Welsh Slingers. They go eight. And Pender's on the move. Now he's got his half guard here. Um, which is pretty good. They go 13, uh, not 13, they go 11. Right, Dai Yaki Da. Um, of course, he's stuck behind um, old Cadwallon, but he'll get this group to move over, which they do, and then they can join up. Uba, well, again. They'll move around there and around there, but they will not be a formation. Right, uh, Kinderberger, Kinderberger. Um, he'll move his groups. The first one will go 10. Also 10, but they'll push to one side. So they can join up. Cadwallan. Now Cadwallan needs to be a little bit careful because these are only warriors. Um, his main strength is the shock cavalry. But he'll push up anyway. He goes 11. Somebody missiles. They'll yeah, get up to the side of the tree, I think. That's uh, seven. Not quite far enough. Okay, Roddy, App, Trotter. Now, the uh, two lots of cavalry can move together because they're both shock cavalry. One is warrior class, one is elite class, but they can still go together, which is fine. Um, I think what they're going to do is get them to lurk around in that area. So they're going to go full, uh, forward, but no further forward than the trees there, which they do. Okay, so I made an error there. Um, I should be moving the cavalry on the British cavalry card, not the leader. The leader, all he can do is take shock off and do, do a couple of other things. Um, but they move on that card, so I've got to remember that. Okay, Bubba up now. And he will do exactly the same as the others. Turn them around, but they're not a formation. And finally, Keen Banger. He goes 11. And his second group, 10. Now just tuck up behind. Okay, so there we have it. Early days at the moment. No great shakes. Well, the cavalry are looking dodgy on the uh, left-hand side of the Allies. They might get in early because they do double shock and double um, hits on the first round. Okay, Uber. Well, they can join up for one. Because uh, they're very close. Whether they actually want to do anything else is another matter. Um, I suppose they could anchor on the woods there. Uh, I don't know. I think they'll. Mm. Yeah, I think he's going to wait there and see what uh, Edwin does. Right, the British missiles, Welsh missiles will move. Slingers, two dice. Oh, they go two. And they're out of range. The Northumbria missiles, on the other hand, they will fire long range. So it's fives and sixes to hit. They're firing at the um, half guard here. One hit. And it's five shock, six kill. No effect. So what is Edwin going to do? He is in a pickle. But the... Uh, allies don't have as many good troops as them, so I think I think he'd be a bit cautious. He'll go forward, um, but he doesn't want to get isolated. 
Right, he'll join up with them. And Bubba will join up here for one. Uh, they're so close to the winner. And I think, again, they're going to sidle that way. There's two dice, I think. Um, so they're joined up. Now it's one big shield wall. But they can be flanked. Right, now it's the cavalry. Hmm. I think they're going to wait. Yucky da. Goes nine. Penda. And we'll just carry on forward. Nine. Right, these guys who join up, they're within two, with Kinberger, and move forward. You go 12. Well, I, mm, now, do I send them around to the flank? They'll lose dice, but it'd be good to come in on the flank. I think they might. Um, well, they'll detach, actually, so we do that. They won't join up. So he's going to take this group 12. And the other group will follow on. They go four. King the banger. Uh, they will join up and they will move forward. They'll look to join up with Penda. They go nine. Mercy and missiles have been rather left behind here. Uh, they're going to try and hop across all this uh, bog, I think. So they'll lose uh, three go five. They only lose one pit per dice for the bog because they're light troops, harassing troops. And Cad Wallen. Now Cad Wallen, I think, will push over to the left slightly. He goes 11, probably a bit further than he wanted to go. Okay, so at the end of the second turn, uh, Mercians pushing around through the bog and the woods on the right hand side for them. Uh, but their front line is looking a bit ragged at the moment, and certainly Cadwallon is pushing himself quite a way forward. He's only got two groups of warriors with him. Yaki is too far back with his uh, large formation, but uh, Rodiad Trotter is uh, near the woods with his cavalry. Uh, the Northumbrians are in one big shield wall. Okay, so uh, Northumbrian missiles, they will fire at the half guard here. It's four, five, six to hit, short range now, and it's five shock, six kill, one shock, one kill. Um, actually, there might be uh, a wound on uh, Pender himself. It's not, so one kill and one shock. Good early blow. Right, Edwin is up now. Um, I think... Because the way the Allies have advanced, which is not particularly clever, um, he's going to uh, take advantage of that. Play some cards, Carpe Diem, Aggressive Charge and Bounding Move. Uh, so the Carpe Diem just allows the other two to be played, so he'll get plus two dice for that. Bounding Move, because I want to make sure that he actually gets into um, Cad Wallen. So he's going to take his Hearth Guard and his uh, Warriors to the right. They go seven ten. <laughs> Which is not enough, and he's blown it. He's burnt those three cards and he hasn't made it. Now it's uh, Bubba, and he can't do anything because he's gone with that formation. There's no shock to take off, uh, so he can just draw a card. And now it's Abba. Uh, Abba needs to secure um, Edwin's flank, so he'll move up here, probably uh, up, up to the edge of, of them. He goes nine. Just refuse that flank a little bit. 
Okay, the Mercian missiles. Well, of course, now everything seems to have gone over to the right-hand side. This lot are out the game a little bit. So they need to get a shifty on. They will lose three pips. Uh, one pip per dice, they'll lose three. So they go 14 less three is 11. Now, Cadwallon is up. But I think he's he's got himself in a bad position. So he's, gonna, he's just going to retire. He cannot afford to get contacted by that uh, host of Northumbria. As he comes back 10, so it doesn't look good. Um, he comes back 10, and he'll be facing the opposite way. Right, now it's the cavalry. Um, I could charge them in, but I think realistically uh, three groups are going to get involved. So again, probably not the best thing to do. This is quite tricky, actually. I think, again, they're just going to retire. They go a long way, though. So <laughs> the Welsh have enticed the Northumbrians forward, but um, they've fallen back, actually. Perhaps it's all a big ruse. British missiles, they will move up uh, a couple of dice. Uh, six. They'll go up here. They are within 12, so they'll fire at those hearth guard. I haven't been playing it. Um, having moved, you get a minus one to hit. So it's fives and sixes for them to hit. Uh, it's one hit. And it's five shock, six kill on those half guard, no effect. Okay, King Nabanga, he's going to move up here with his group and join up, which they do. So the Mercians are looking a little bit safer there. Yakidar can't really do too much because Cadwell is right in front of him. So I guess he just stays there. Penda will take off. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I'll take off that point of shock. All right, Kinderberger, he's going to move around the wood and tell the other ones to follow him. So they go 11. Actually, they'll probably lose. Yeah, they won't go 11, they'll go 5. Because of that bog. And the other group just move up behind. That's the end of the turn. So, a bit of a standoff at the moment. The uh, North Army have got an impressive uh, shield wall, and still the Allies are looking at a bit of a mess, especially with the uh, uh, Welsh uh, having uh, retired a little bit on the left hand side. Right, here we go then. The uh, missiles. Mercy and missiles will go, they will go six. Upper. Oh, well, I think the onus really is on the Mercians to attack. So I think they're just going to stay there at the moment. Right, Cadwallon. He'll turn around for one. That's one dice. Um... And I think he will push up. Nah, he's going to block these off. Uh, a, Swiss, a seed in the ground to the Northumbrians, which is not right. They've ambushed them. They need to get in there. Um, but they're two separate groups. It's quite difficult. So what does he do? Um, I think I'm going to push over to the woods over there. There goes six. Right, now it's the cavalry, again. Cavalry going to be no good um, amongst all of that. So I think I'll just bring them up behind Cad 1. And... Right, these missiles, 
Um, I want this lot to move up in a moment uh, to make the shield wall, so they're in the way. Um, so I guess I'm supposed to move up here. Right, they're going to come over here, out of the way. So they go 10. Right, and Yakidar is up, so they're going to come up and give Cadwan some support, which is just what he needs because he's been a bit isolated and um, if old Penda come up there wrong um, if Edwin's card had come up then um, he'd have been in trouble but now that's looking a bit better now Penda is up so he's got two Hearthguard and two Warriors so if he goes in mm, be interesting interesting to see what happens there might be a split in the shield walls here but I think he's got to go for it He's going to play a strong arm. So he loses one dice of movement. He needs seven. He's got it. Right, now I'm not quite sure what happens here, but I'm going to say that that group of Hearthguard um, comes around and fights in this fight here. So strong arm as they go in is 1, 2, 3, 18, 23. And it's fives and sixes are shock. That's pretty good. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So it's four, four, three. Hmm, good hit. Right, let's work out some dice for combat. Uh, these are elites, these are not. So these will get plus one against them. And these will get plus one against them. So let's do the Mercians first. They're attacking 6, 12, 18, 19, 24. Pender will get involved with his champion. 29, 31. And the Northumbrians, uh, they'll lose two here. So that's 6, 7 for Elite. Plus 4 is 11. Uh, plus 5 is 16. 17, 18. Okay, we're hitting on a 4, 5, 6. Uh, I think I'll have the extras on... Uh, those two groups again and coming back two 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 extras on that and extras on that because they're the warrior groups right hits on the half guard four five shock six kill um, that is two points of shock only, so they're up to six. Group of warriors. Uh, one shock up to five and one kill. And the other group, that is three kill and one shock. So up to four shock. Is it wound on the noble? It's not. So one, two, three. So four Northumbrians being killed there. Warrior group, one shock. Warrior group, two shock. Half guard, one shock, one kill. Is it on Penda? Nope. 
and final half guard group, no effect. Right, so it's net three to the Mercians. And it's withdraw a minimum of six. Uh, they go back one anyway because they're um, excess shot, but it's a minimum of six. So this is not what the Mercians wanted at this stage. And the Mercians will advance two inches. Penders on the rampage already. Okay, first combat finished. Well, I think uh, the Northumbrians are going to play rally and get some of that shock off this half guard. Can't afford them to disappear. Four, so they're down to two shocks. That's a good roll. Right, Edwin's up now. I think actually what he's going to do, um, he's going to let uh, these guys operate on their own for the moment. He's uh, advanced in front of that formation, can't really do too much, but he's going to go for the kill with Caduana and just charge in. He hasn't got any um, useful cards to play, like uh, aggressive charge, unfortunately. He goes 12, which is more than enough to get in. Now, he's outnumbered. Which might be a very bad choice. <laughs> but there we go. Righty ho, uh, we'll do the Northumbrians first because they're attacking. So it's 6. 12, 20, uh, 21, because they're elite. 26, 28. And the Welsh, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 30, 35, uh, 37. But they are all warriors. Okay, Northumbrians first, he's down to 4, 5, 6. Not... Fantastic, I have to say. Uh, right, so we'll start with twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And another four. Uh, one there, one there, one there, and one there. I'm coming back. Yeah, that's not fantastic either. But there are only three groups, so let's start with six. Yeah, six on each. Okay, left hand warrior group is two shock. Cadwallan's warrior group is one shock, two kill. Is Cad one on one of the wounds? It's not, so it's two warriors there. Next group is two kill, one shock. Next group, two shock. And last group, one shot. Well, I thought they're going to be in trouble there after that hit in the middle. They've got four dead total. Right, let's see what's coming back to the uh, Northumbrians. So this is a warrior group. Uh, that is two kill, one shock. Is it on Bubba? No. Next warrior group. Uh, two kill, two shock. There's no noble there. And finally, Edwin's group. Elites. Wow, that's a big hit on them. Two kill, three shock. So is one of the kills on Edwin? It's not. Right, so that's a total of six and four. So it's net two 
to the Welsh. And that is withdraw one inch per shock on groups. So well, they go back one, they go back two, they go back three. So they can all stay within, so they go back three in total, but they can maintain a shield wall. These guys will advance two inches. But combat is broken. Kingdom Banger will take off uh, two points of shock here. Bubba will take off uh, two points of shock here. Kinberger probably thinks he's made a bad choice now going through the swamp. He's going to try and fight through there. He goes um, 13, less 6, so he goes 7. And the other group does the same. Uh, Northumbria missiles. Um, I think they're going to drop back here with two dice. They go seven. They'll fire at these guys. Need a five, six to hit. One hit. They're half guard, so five shot, six kill, no effect. Right, the action has finally started. So that's the end of the turn. Um, we've got the uh, Mercians on the right flank struggling to get around the marsh and the woods, but they're nearly into action now. Um, a heavily shocked uh, Northumbrian. Uh, formation here uh, with the uh, Pender and his Mercians bearing down and up here we've got Cadwallon uh, fighting Edwin um, which is pretty even-ish at the moment I guess but trouble is for the Welsh the cavalry are not in the game they're out they need to get around get moving right I've got to get these um, cavalry into play um, and they've got messed up because uh, obviously Cadwallon's in front. So can Cadwallon make a gap for them? I mean, I suppose I can tell this lot. Ah, it's a bit dangerous. It's a bit dangerous. Right, I think having had a bit of a think about this, um, I'm not quite sure what to do. The, the, the cavalry has stopped behind, uh, so that's tough luck at the moment. So I'm going to take one point of shock off here. They're in the same formation, uh, he's within commander range, they're not in combat, so it's one point of shock off there, one point of shock off here, and they will charge in. I won't bother rolling for that. In they go. Right, let's work out some dice. Six, ten, fourteen, nineteen, twenty-five. 26, 27, uh, plus 5 is 32. And the Northumbrians this time around have 4, 8, uh, plus 5 is 13, uh, 14 for uh, Elite, 19, 21. Okay, Welsh going first, we're hitting on a 4, 5, 6. Okay, five there, five there, five there, uh, extra one there, and extra one, I think, there. And coming back, and that looks pretty good. Okay, three, 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 and... Two, is that what I want? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so warrior group at the back here is two kill, two shock. So they're up to three shock. One is one of the kills on Bubba. It's not, so that's two kill there, and they're excess shock. Next group. Uh, three kill. And one shock. Uh, yep. Two, 
two, three. Very fortunate not to be routed there, just as well they rallied off that shock at the beginning. And Edwin's group of Hearthguard, one kill, one shock. So up to four shock. Is Edwin wounded? He's not. So that's a total of six. All right, two warrior, uh, warrior group at the end there is one kill, one shock. They're on two. Cadwallan's group, one kill, one shock. Is the kill on Cal Cadwallan? No, it's not. So we're on two kills so far. Next group. Uh, that is one kill, one shock, up to two shock. Another kill, up to three. Next group is one shock. One kill, is it on the Noble? Yakida, no it's not. Up to four. And the final group is two kill, one shock. Up to two and one uh, two, so it is net zero. Now, do we have any excess shock? Um, yes, we do. They have one. Uh, nobody else has excess shock. So they go back one inch. They can maintain formation. Um, I'm thinking that because the uh, Welsh didn't win that fight, they can't advance. So again, combat broken. All right, Bubba's up. He'll take two points of shock off that. Kinberger's coming around. He goes 11. Missiles are dispersed. The other group, we are nine, right up behind, so they're doing a good sweeping move around. Abba, um, I think he's going to take a probably two points. Oh, I'm going to take a point of shock off here and a point of shock off here. Right, the cavalry, what are they going to do? I suppose they've got to really come around here. I wonder if they can swing around here. And get a fantastic roll, it's plus six. So, uh, what's that? Uh, 10, 16, it's not going to be enough. But they're around here. So, they're loitering with intent to hit those elite on the flank, potentially. Right, I think Pender's in for the kill. His card's come up. He's got nothing useful to play, um, but I think he's got to go for it. They're in. The Mercians have six, 12, uh, 18, 23, 24, 29, 31. And the Northumbrians will have 2, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15. Okay, here we go. This is the Mercians. It's not a particularly good hit, I don't think. Six, I think. That's not too bad. And it is only on three groups, so we'll have five there to start with, five there, five there. In fact, it's six on each. And coming back. That is very poor. Four hits on each. All right, half guard. One kill, one shock. Thank you. 
or is Two kill, two shock. They're going to route. First route we've had. And the other group is three shock. They're going to route. That's double the number they have. No kills. Oh yeah. Right, warriors, one kill. Warriors, nothing. Half guard, one shock. Half guard, nothing. Net three, no wrong, net two. Four bat, one inch per shock on groups. And they go back three. They go back three and around. They go five. So they are destroyed in the river. Go back three. They are destroyed in the river along with the noble. So bad things happen for uh, a warrior group and another warrior group and a noble being killed. That's a total of four points of force morale. Northumbria is down to five. And the Mercians will follow up too. Right, Mercian missiles will try and leg it over here. They go 12. I'm not getting on the 8. I haven't done anything yet. The Welsh missiles, but they'll try and get through the trees over there. They'll lose one pit per dice going over there, so they'll just get to the edge actually. Right. Old Edwin's in a bit of a pickle. Funny old thing. Um, what does he do? I mean, he's going to get absolutely hammered, isn't he? Does he just leave the field, I guess? Um, he's going to get run down by the cavalry. He can't He can't do that. I think he's got to... Um, crikey, what does he do? He's going to get hammered, whatever he does. How about in for a penny, in for a pound? They're in... Okay, so the North Americans will have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight for elite, uh, plus five there will be 13. Uh, the Welsh will have four, five, six, um, plus uh, five here is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. And just to kick the arse out of it for the Northumbrians, the Welsh are going to play shield wall braced. So the Northumbrians need a 5-6 to hit. They get three hits. It's desperate stuff, isn't it? Um, one on those, one on those, one on those. And coming back, well, that's not brilliant. Uh, that's two, 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 and I tell you what, put one on there because I need them to break. Right, damage on this group of warriors is no effect. Oh, dear, 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 dear. No effect. And one kill. Is it on Yakidar? It's not. So that's one kill. On the warriors here, two kill. They're gone. Well, let's just check it. it's not uh, the noble, it's not. So he's on his own. Um, so he'll just side over to these guys, I guess. But it all happens at one go. So you know, he's, <laughs> he's killed as well. <laughs> so he's on his own for a moment. And uh, on the half guard here, just one shock. So they're standing, standing strong there. Um, so that's three killed. And uh, one, so it's net two. Uh, so it is withdraw um, one inch per shot, so they go back five. He can um, run over and join them, which he just about does. And the... Um, oh, what I didn't do last time was uh, check to see if people uh, ran after them. 
Um, so these guys need a two or below, and they don't, and these guys, they don't either. So the Welsh will advance two. The end is nigh. Okay, uh, now we could go all in on this gang. No, he can't. No, he's just got to take some shock off, I think. So I'll take that shock off. And uh, Yaki Dart will take off two points of shock here. Okay, at the end of that turn, um, the North Army is getting right royally hammered here. Just need to do, um, forgot to do it, a couple of bad things for the warrior groups going. Uh, it's one and six. That's another four points, and the Northumbrians are down to one force morale. Um, and uh, I think it is going to be curtains, because look over to Lord Edwin's front and left. It's the cavalry lurking, and the Welsh have got a step forth, so they're going to be in. Right, so here we go. Um, it's a step forth. So the cavalry are uh, playing now, um, and they're playing Artorius. So shot cavalry launch an aggressive charge, plus one on the to hit roll. Uh, which I think they're going to do that. So just four minutes Yes, they're in. Northumbrians turn to face. All right, let's work out some dice. Right, so the shock cavalry will double the number of dice they have on the first round so there's eight nine of them so it's 18 and northumbrians will be one two three uh oh they've got a another, they got um bubba there uh so one two three eight nine ten okay hitting on threes that could have been better but it's all on that one group Whereas at least cavalry spread a little bit. Coming back is a disastrous two. One on each group. Now, any shot is doubled on the Northumbrians. Um, <laughs> well, that's pretty rubbish. So it's two shock. So there goes one, two, and one kill. Is the kill on a noble or a lord? It's not. One kill. Right, so on the warrior cavalry, one shock. And on the elite shock cavalry, one kill. Is it on the noble? Trotter, no, it's not. So they lost one kill. So it's net zero. And they go again, but this time the cavalry are fighting as if they're on foot. They've got no shock this time around. So, um, hold on. There's an excess shock here. Okay, these guys go back three. And these guys will uh, not advance. So combat is broken. So the shock cavalry actually um, didn't do their job. All right, Bob is up now. He'll take two points of shock off. Cadwallon is up. All right, so he's going to take these three groups, charge in here. Yes, they'll have to turn and face the new threat. Can they sustain it? I suspect not. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, plus five is 13. And the Northumbrians will have one, two, three for being elite, uh, five, ten. Right, well, I want to finish them off. So um, Cadwallon is playing this one. Here are the age, so he doubles his dice in combat. So there's another three going in. Hitting on four, five, six. That's a great hit. All on one. And coming back is not bad considering. One, two, one, two, 
one, two. Right, hit on the Northumbrians is one, one kill, four shock. So one, I think they can be broken. That's nine shock, and there's four of them. Is uh, one of those kills on the noble? It's not. So they're going to be broken. Two kill. Oh, two kill. Now, that's interesting. So it's definitely one. If it is a, uh, a one to four, I guess. Oh, it's not. So they're broken, actually. And one kill. Ooh, so that was a hefty five. So interestingly, the Welsh blew themselves out there. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. These guys have gone. Um, they will go back six and route. We're off another 13. Okay, and that is it. A victory for the uh, allies there, the Welsh and the Mercians. King Edwin is running away. Leech Hearthguard here. The other ones will be sh following shortly after. Um, Pender is pushed up here. He's, he's got another uh, formation uh, or two groups on the Northumbrian left. And they have never really got in there. Shot cavalry didn't really do a great deal per se, but it whittled them down enough for Cadwallon to get and stick the boot in at the end. Although this final charge, they actually had to uh, run away because they frightened themselves. Got too many killed as well. So overall, a victory for the Allies, but uh, King Edwin escaped. The casualties for this battle. The Welsh lost uh, one of their shock elite cavalry, uh, 15 warriors for a total of 16. The Mercians lost just three, two Hearthguard and one warrior. And the Northumbrians lost one noble, six Hearthguard, 25 warriors for a total of 32. So in the race to become Brett Warder, Cadwallon and Pender are both on four, uh, but for slightly different reasons, Cadwallon gets three for winning the battle with plus one because the religions are different. He's Christian and at this stage in history, Edwin is still pagan. Pender gets three for winning the battle and one for killing the noble. And Edwin picks up a bonus point because he managed to escape the ambush. Now, we'll be carrying some of these campaign points over to the various king's successors. Otherwise, I don't think we get anywhere if anybody got killed. So, with all of that done, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I'll see you next time for the Battle of Heavenfield.